guys, this is Veggie Girly, and I'm here today with a very special episode of Shock Therapy. I've got as our guest the enormous gastropod. Um, E.G., are you there? Yep, I'm here. How are you doing today? Uh, busy, busy, busy. Oh, busy, busy snail. Um, yeah, that's... Pardon? I said, yep, that's me, busy as a snail. <laughs> Um, I've got a question for you. Your um, username, Enormous Gastropod. What is that all about? Um, you know, I had always used nicknames growing up that were kind of grandiose and whatnot. And there came a point when I just decided to grow up and and pick a nickname that was that didn't allow me to take myself seriously. So I don't know. It was semi-random, although I think it might have had something to do with a Calvin and Hobbes strip, something about a. 200 ton gastropod it, you'd have to know Calvin and Hobbes and the transmogrifier but I think that what that's what inspired me a little bit to get the name gastropod in there but ultimately I think it was just a creation of my bizarre mind <laughs> your bizarre but resilient mind um, <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been a member of the site you know I think it's been about a year and a half now um, yeah I, I'd log back in but I vowed not to log in again so Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, so how did you find it originally? Um, I was getting interested in chess, uh, and I think I just Googled chess, and it was one of the first returns. And I thought, hey, this looks it's new, and it looks like a good site, so I'll just make an account and see what happens. And how long have you been playing chess? Well, I was taught how to move the pieces when I was five, but... Something about my uh, my lack of resiliency made me not realize that there was actual strategy that I could use, and I don't know. I just didn't uh, make a connection until I was about I think it was about 2005. I I actually got a book about it and learned about pins and forks. So really, I didn't start learning chess from an intelligent standpoint until I was I think 23. So I've been playing now for about I guess you could say uh, four or five years. Oh wow! Oh wow! But I know you—you you probably didn't expect to to grasp the concept of it at such a young age, at five. Um, it's good though to meet somebody that is a late learner like myself. Um, yeah. Do you listen to music when you play chess? Um, kind of. Noisy home, so I have to put my uh, soundproof earbuds in to be able to concentrate. I don't know if I'd listen to it if I had a quiet room, though, because I have the kind of mind that when I hear music, I want to listen to the music, and then, so I, it kind of distracts me, but typically right now, yes, I, if, I, if I'm playing chess, it's, I've usually got something pumping through my headphones. You've got such great taste in music, I must say. Um, what, what's on your playlist right now? Who can you recommend to me? I have such a, I am a musical omnivore. Um, usually when people say, oh, I'll listen to anything, they usually preface that with, uh, well, except country. Except, yeah, exactly. I, Travis, you know, Josh Turner. Um, boy, I'll listen to, I'm trying to think, is there anything I won't listen to? I think Yanni gags me a little bit. Oh, come on. You can rock out to some Yanni. Everybody can rock out to some Yanni. <laughs> I do listen to ambient, uh, I guess you call it new age, you're kind of hesitant about calling it down, but it's kind of ambient, but right now, uh, Beats Antique has been heavy on my list, um, everybody check them out, it's kind of like this weird amalgamation of Mediterranean and Middle Eastern, and um, yeah, yeah, I listen to anything, August Burns Red, Christian metalcore band, and uh, who else? Who else is heavy? Um, oh, well, I've been listening to a lot. Armin Van Buren lately, uh, Trance. Uh, oh. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Very, very cool. Very cool. Now, I've got a couple of questions that have come in um, to my message box to ask you personally. Um, what is the nerdiest thing that you've done? Nerdiest thing I've done probably stayed up for 12 hours and played a couple hundred port switch stack at the last place I worked at. Wow. 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Oh wow, wow. Um, 
And what is the best thing that you um the the best aspect of the site that you have found as of yet? Probably just the friendly atmosphere. It's not pretentious because most chess players and chess sites tend to be full of themselves. And chess.com is really catering to a much more amateur player, although they do have a lot of, you know, national masters and CD masters and up upwards, but still it's very friendly. It's not pretentious and it makes you want to get involved with the game more and it doesn't scare off the noobs like me. <laughs> now, who's the most interesting person that you've met so far? Or uh, I would say and you might I would I would say you probably. What? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> You talk to so many people, and I, I, no, no way. There's no way. Yeah, I would say you. I mean, librarian, IT person, studying in Germany, that's just, that's not many people can say they do that. Yeah, but you can only do so many things and do it well, so, I mean, I'm I'm not exactly um, geek girl yet, but Mm -hmm. I must must admit, though, um, I would have to say you are the most interesting person that I've met here. So are we creating like a mutual admiration society right here? I, I think so, somewhat. Um, and I know that um, I've always referred people over to you in regards to um, people that I've met that have done um, or say that they're interested in the whole IT aspect, you know, considering the fact that you do have um, – or you did have such a big presence on the technology forums. And then I've also um, referred people to you in regards to the whole musical scene. So I'm sure some of those stalkers that you've had weren't really anonymous. They were um, actually veggie girly referrals. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I just, okay. yeah, so I apologize in hindsight. <laughs> um, let's see here. Now, you're you're taking a little break from the whole chess scene it seems can you give us a little bit about that um what do you have in store as far as your adventures go well i mean i just started realizing there's a lot of things that i'm spending time on that uh might not be justifiable and uh making a move almost cross country right now and hoping to get a a new job and it just seemed like there was too little time in a day, and I realized that everyone's got the same amount of hours, but other people seem to get more done than I do. And so when I looked at what I spent my time on, I realized, you know, there's a there's a few things I need to get rid of. And one of them was chess because I'm not I'm not really progressing with it. And to progress with it, I'd have to spend more time studying it, and I just didn't have the time to give to it. So, Thanks. and also chess.com because of the social networking aspect of the site, kind of. It's just another thing that I had a hard time justifying, so I figured I'll take a sabbatical for, who knows, maybe a couple months, uh, half a year, maybe a year, who knows, and we'll, I'll see if I can reorganize my time a little bit better. Well, that's that's totally understandable, and it's actually quite admirable. I've um, talked to a ton of people that have said that they didn't know how to balance or um, they found themselves preoccupied with their virtual life and um, and kind of not so much neglecting their real life, but they knew that they, they had that that there's something that needed to to go, but they never actually yeah. took the effort to go and leave and come back or reassess. So for you to actually do that is it's kind of scary to know that you're <laughs> not going to be around for a while. But yeah. but it's it's admirable to know that you are a man of your word. People can email me, of course, if they need. I I in my farewell blog post put my email address. Up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or uh, a reverse doctor and just, you know, dropping off the face of the earth. Yeah. Um, well, I wanted to thank you for doing the interview today. I know that you've got tons of things to do. Um, and I wish you well in your journeys. You. And 
I am very glad to be considered one of your blue people. Sure, but- yes. <laughs> Guys, um, this has been a very special shock therapy with a semi-emotional tomato girl. Um, just keeping it real. I hope you guys listen, and if you um, if you see enormous gastropod online, then you probably should check your glasses. Um, but you can still leave him some awesome love comments on his blog because it should be up for quite some time. Mm-hmm. Thanks for listening, and um, peace. Yeah. <laughs>